Hello YouTube, I wanted to do a video about Edley Scalman's magnetic monopoles. Uh, currently, mainstream science tells us that electron is the charge carrying particle in electricity and that gravity is caused by matter uh, taking up space. Well, Edley Scalman thought differently. He thought that magnetism and gravity were one and the same. So here's his uh, theory of the monopoles, magnetic monopoles. So imagine you have uh, your magnet and you have your, um, uh, the magnet doesn't uh, contain the monopoles, so it, it serves as a lens basically, and these monopoles are present in the environment. So from the north side of the magnet you have north monopoles and they go to the south side of the magnet. From the south side, on the south side of the magnet you have your south monopoles and they go on the north to the north side of the magnet. And these monopoles uh, travel in circular paths, so they don't actually make this arc how I drew it. It actually uh, forms a toroidal structure. So on one side, the monopoles end up spiraling one way, going to the south side. On the other, and from the south side, they end up spiraling in the opposite way, and they go to the north side. And um, so the two monopoles are moving at simultaneously, one clockwise, one counterclockwise. Here we have the Earth, and uh, it's a crudely drawn Earth. So you have your nor north pole and you have your south pole. Again, see, it works the same way as a, uh, as a magnet. And how Edley Scalman uh, reverse gravity is um, on different parts of the Earth, there's different proportions of these north and south monopoles. So at the equator, you have the equal distribution of north and south monopoles. But if in the northern hemisphere, you have um, more so south uh, monopoles coming in and less north uh, coming out. So by controlling this proportion and reversing the proportion is what creates the anti-gravity effect. That's why Edley Scalman was so uh, so interested in his exact location, his uh, longitude and long uh, latitude and longitude. And um, so he did an experiment where he took um, a three-foot copper, uh, I'm sorry, three-foot iron uh, wire, and he would hang it uh, on uh, by the middle to make sure it's really even. And then he would take uh, a U horseshoe magnet and move it across the wire. And that would cause the wire to become magnetized. And all of a sudden, one, one end of the wire ends up d dipping towards the ground. And uh, which, which end dips and how, how far it dips depends on where he, he would be on the, um, on the planet. So, um, uh, so, uh, and so you, you, he, he would have to re rebalance the wire, and uh, seeing how how much uh, he had to move to the new position determines uh, the proportion of these monopoles in the area. And um, here I have a bunch of experiments set up. So um, let's see. Here we have uh, iron filings. Notice how these uh, filings are uh, standing up. See, they're not actually all attracted to the magnet. They're actually, um, they're actually push, pushed up by the magnet. And uh, again, how much they're going to be pushed up, which pole is, it's not going to be necessarily uh, even. And that's going to, that's going to vary depending on your location on on the planet Earth. So um, and this is one of Edley Scalman's experiments. He, is he would be playing with these. Um, iron filings. He talks about this in his book. Uh, and um, so here we have um, a bunch of neodymium magnets, very powerful magnets, four inch by one inch by half an inch. So these are very dangerous, powerful magnets. And um, here we have a copper foil. And um, and here we have an iron piece. Uh, as you can see, iron piece is magnetic. And um, so uh, this is graphite. So notice how um, graphite is not magnetic. So we have a, a weak magnet. See, okay. See, it just rolls off of it. Okay. So let's see. Let's try it again. But if you use a strong uh, magnet, graphite becomes magnetic all of a sudden. See, the, the, uh, uh, it serves as a better uh, lens for, the, for these monopoles. So all of a sudden the, the graphite becomes magnetic.
Um, also, you can affect uh, metals that are typically non-magnetic with these um, mono monopolar interactions. So, see uh, this copper, um, this copper copper foil ends up being attracted to the magnets all of a sudden. Let's see, okay, let's try it again. It's really hard to do with just one hand. Let's let's see if I can get it again. Okay. So here we go. Let's see. See, it's it's picking up the copper foil. So try uh explaining that why does that? Let's see. And um you can also move these um uh, this is uh, just sheets of aluminum foil that I have folded up in little squares. So let's see if I can move, be able to move it with this magnet. Yeah. So what happens is uh, these monopoles move through different speeds, through different materials. They move really fast through magnetic uh, materials like iron and they move slower through things like uh, um, aluminum or copper, the uh, non-magnetic metals and they move even slower through things like this chair or air and this uh, difference uh, in in their speed is what determines uh, what, uh, your formation of electricity so um, so they move fast through your iron core and then they slow down through the windings and electrical effect appears again this is just Adley Scalman's uh, take on uh, the phenomenon so I hope uh, I, I was able to help you guys see it th through his eyes. I believe in the past the people knew about uh, these monopoles. So let's look at some of the symbols from the past. We have the Star of David, which is composed out of two triangles. So we have a triangle going pointed up and a, a triangle pointed down. So this um, is similar to the way the monopoles move around the magnet and moved around the earth and also the uh, infinity symbol so let's look at the infinity symbol so it, how it's drawn see so it also mimics the motion of these monopoles so you have one going this way and then we have one going this way so and then we have uh, our infinity symbol this uh, Star of David is actually present in Edley Scalman's Coral Castle, so in the architecture of this castle. And uh, as you, if you know anything about sacred geometry, the Star of David is also the flower of life. So we have with the six petals. So, six petals fits inside of the star. So, uh, I'm not the best artist, but, so it's an ancient uh, sim symbolism. Now I want to direct your attention towards this paper, published in 1944 in a popular science magazine. And this paper talks about how w water was split into hydrogen and oxygen using only permanent magnets with no electric input. This uh, paper hinted to the existence of magnetic current alongside of the electric current. And it showed that magnets can be used to do useful work. So why haven't more people heard about it? So it actually uh, gives a validation to uh, at least common's monopolar theory.